In this lecture, we will learn what a binary search is in computer programming and how to implement a binary search algorithm in C Sharp. A binary search can only be used once a collection is sorted. Then it starts in the middle of the collection and checks the value of the middle element. If the element we are searching for is smaller, it goes to the left half of the collection to continue its search. Otherwise, it goes to the right half of the collection to continue its search. Then it starts at the middle of that half and repeats the process over and over. Each time, half of the collection it is searching through gets eliminated from the search. Pretend we have a list of integers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. We will use a binary search to find 2. The binary search starts out at element 4, the middle element in the collection. 2, the element we are looking for, is less than 4, so it moves on to the left half of the collection. Then it searches that half. The elements in the left half of the array are 1, 2, and 3. The binary search starts out at the midpoint here, which is 2. Since 2 was found, its index will be returned. Let's write a function that will perform a binary search. The function will take in two parameters, a list of integers, which will be the collection of elements to search through, and an int x, which will be the element we are searching for. Currently, the list class is not recognized by our program. To fix this, we can right-click, go to Quick Actions and Refactorings, and import the system.collections.generic namespace. Our function will return an integer, the location of the element if it is found. If the element is not found in the collection we pass in, our function will return negative 1. We will have an int variable named start that we will initialize to a value of 0. This will be the starting index of the portion of the collection we are searching. Then we will have an int variable named stop, which we will initialize to the value of the elements.count property, which will be the size of the collection, and we will subtract 1 from that value. Our stop variable will be indicating the ending index of the portion of the collection we are searching. Next, let's create an int variable named middle, which will be start plus stop divided by 2, cast to an int. This will indicate the middle index of the collection, where the binary search will start at. Then comes a while loop. We will check that the element at the middle index is not x, and that start is less than stop, meaning that we have reached the end of the search without finding the element we are looking for. If the element that we are looking for is less than the current middle element, we will make the stop value equal to the middle value minus 1, effectively cutting the searchable part of the array in half. Else, we will set the start variable equal to middle plus 1, again cutting the searchable part of the array in half, just in the other direction. Then we will reset the value of the middle variable to the new middle index of the searchable part of our collection. We will return either negative 1 or middle, depending on if x was found or not. This C-sharp code will perform a binary search for element x in a list of ints. If x is in the list, return its location. Otherwise, we will return negative 1 to show that it isn't in the list. A binary search is more efficient than a linear search. However, there are a few limitations to a binary search. First off, a binary search can only be applied if the items in the collection are sorted. Second, we can only apply a binary search to data structures that give us direct access to elements. For example, we cannot perform a binary search on a linked list. In the next lecture, we will learn about C-sharp's built-in binary search method.